You'll forgive me if I don't get up. Oh, God, yeah. I think the postman's been. Oh, where did you get them yokes? Well, downstairs under the letterbox. Ha <laughs> ha, them's been there this decade. I never open letters. I just let them lie where they land. And who asked you to come along and lift them? You never open letters? No, no. My balance is always bills. Cheaper to ignore them. Just fling them on the floor. So you never open your letters. That explains a lot. The Quareland is the story of a, an old farmer in West Cavan who lives on a mountainside by himself with his dog. He's a perfectly happy, well-adjusted person until a young man comes into his life looking to get something out of him and upends everything. From Rob's perspective, the play is about uh, a guy who has a golf course and a hotel and he wants to build it out and there's a piece of land that he must get his hands on in order to achieve that and he finds out that this old farmer living in a poor part of the country has uh, owns it and so the play is about his effort to go and buy it off him and oh ho, ho, what a marvelous feeling mm. <laughs> me first wash in 48 months mm. Can you imagine? Uh, no, I can't, no. Oh, you do bed regular. Uh, I take a shower every morning now, I do. Oh, 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 you must have money plentiful. Oh, no. Uh, scales, huge scales, left up off me when I sat in. Yeah, uh, ribs to the top of the water. Whatever part of my anatomy they've been clinging to, I don't want to know. The Celtic Tiger sort of ended around the end of 2007, so it set then and Rob McNulty in particular was one of those developers who sort of got caught out when the money ran out and the banks stopped lending. So Rob has been, has a sort of a, a loan from the banks, but he hasn't got enough money to quite finish everything and he's sort of struggling. So how much do you want for the field? I have a big cat sitting at home in the yard and I can't wait to a rev cat. her up and get her moving a on cat. the- cat? Young children keep cats all right, but not much else. When you live alone, and when your, um, uh, your only comrades and friends are animals, whether they're your cows or your dog, you become a little strange. <laughs> uh, some people would say uh, you become colorful, you know. And I certainly think Hugh Pugh is one of the most colorful characters I've ever played and uh, or uh, that I think's ever been written. And uh, he reminds me of some of the, uh, the old men that I grew up with and that I worked for, actually. Berlinamori, Berlinamori. What's the story in Berlinamori? Wouldn't you like to know? One of the greatest roles I've ever been given the opportunity to play. And it's also one of the funniest plays, I think, that I've ever been a part of. There, I have three or four plays in my 53 years as a professional actor, which I would consider uh, the, the, the funniest ever, and this is certainly one of them. We at the Irish Repertory Theatre are so thrilled to give this incredible creation uh, a, a space in, on the New York stage. There's, 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 quite, there's nobody quite like you, Pew. I've never met anybody quite like him on the stage. Working with the Irish Rep has been brilliant. It was amazing that something I had written would be given such a treatment, I suppose. I'm still getting used to the idea of it. The land itself is good for them all, no better than a swamp, but I'll give you good money for that same swamp. Oh, how good? How does uh, 50,000 an acre sound? It's just very funny, very, very funny. So come and laugh.